Hey everybody, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and welcome back to my channel. Alrighty, well, I am doing it. I am posting a video a week after the last video. I am proud of myself. As you can tell, I'm once again filming on my phone, which I think it's weird because I tried to do this on my, my fancy MacBook Pro, but the lighting was terrible, and for some reason the phone is a little bit better. So here's to the iPhone 6. Um, I should probably get a new phone. So this week was another good week, I would say. I stuck to keto. I have been eating a variety of meats, uh, cheeses, and dairy. Guys, I, here's the thing, here's the thing. I know that I'm in ketosis right now. I'm using those strips and I know that, you know, when you do keto, you kind of feel that like ickiness in the beginning and then you power past it and then you access all this amazing energy. I'm not feeling that amazing energy like I normally do. I'm wondering if I need to start exercising a lot more. I talked about that in my last video and I said that I didn't bring my bike here. So really the only form of exercise that's available to me is to go out and hike, go out and walk, go out and jog. So I did take one day to go jogging and then I went for this really beautiful hike. Um, it's like this trail that's about a 25 minute drive, so not too bad. And it was a gorgeous day. It was next to a river. I went with my friend. It was just, it was a really nice day. There were a couple of hilly parts, but I guess I just, do you guys ever feel like you're not actually working out when you go for a walk or you go for a hike? I was definitely out of breath at some parts, but I, I think I just, I don't know. I don't think I like pushed myself hard enough where I could feel like sore the next day. And I don't know if that's what we're supposed to be feeling, but I guess all I'm trying to say is that I think I need to turn it up a notch. I think I really need to um, put in the work and feel tired, if that makes sense. They say that when you're trying to lose weight that the nutritional aspect is far more important, like your diet is far more important to losing weight than the exercise that you're doing. And from my own experience, I do find that to be the case. If my diet is on point, I will lose weight. That being said, what I wanna try to do is to shift my mindset with exercise. I don't wanna exercise because I think it's gonna help me lose weight. I wanna exercise to get stronger. I wanna exercise to feel better. I wanna feel fit. I wanna feel like not out of breath when I walk up a hill. I want to be able to jog for more than a couple of minutes without feeling like I'm going to die. Those are all the benefits of exercising that I think I've talked about previously on one of my videos that have nothing to do with, you know, losing weight. That just happens to be potentially, if your diet's on point, a byproduct. So so that's that's what I think I would like to start doing. That's gonna mean doing it, right? Like I I, I don't want to just talk about it and and I wanted so I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta get out there. I gotta the first thing maybe like after I wake up drink my coffee go for a jog. Jogging is hard for me now so being able to just jog a mile would be a milestone. It would be it would I would feel tired after that. So I am going to do my best to, to do that. Unfortunately, I don't have a scale here, so I have no concept of weight loss. I didn't bring my tape measure either, and I also don't really believe in measuring once a week. I think for me, in order to feel like I'm making progress, I usually try to measure once a month. And maybe I should start weighing in once a month. That might be helpful. But I know that my jeans are getting a little loose. I keep having to pull them up, um, which always looks great. You always look your most attractive when you're pulling up your pants in the grocery store. So uh, that's happening. One uh, final thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that I, through a variety of reasons, or for a variety of reasons, I had to get my license renewed and then you know I had to pass a knowledge exam and I had to study for that and I passed like barely did you guys know that in order to turn appropriately that you need to turn your turn signal on within 100 feet of the car 
I'm not sure if that's right. I'm not, I'm not even sure if that makes any sense. But the point is, is that I passed and I'm on the road now. That's the point. Mm -hmm. But the real, the real reason I'm telling you the story is I had to take the dreaded photo. You guys, this was a hard, hard day. Um, they, they, they just make you stand at the, in front of the thing and they just like don't, they just say, okay, one, two, three, and they don't even tell you like, oh, maybe you should put your chin this way or make, cause like guys, I've got a good angle, right? Like I have to look at myself real quick. Like I could have done the stupid like duck face thing. I could have done like, you know, I could have just fixed my face had I seen wh what what I was working with. But you don't get to see any of that. They just, it's this thing that they just like take your picture and it's over and it's done. And you just want to get the heck out of there. So you just comply. So I'm sitting there waiting for her to like print out my paper ID. This is what I look like. Please, guys, tell me that I don't look like that. I'm putting it side by side right now, or maybe it's on this side. I don't know how I'm going to do this in the editing, but come on. Come on. That is not, that is not what I look like. That's like, I look old. I look fat. I look depressed. Like, this is, this is Redhead Goes Healthy after the pandemic. Like, this is, oh. So I was sitting in the car, like, kind of, I cried. I was just like, this is what I've done to myself. I have become this person who, who is she? Who is this person? What is she, what's going on in her mind? And what led her to, to turn into this? And then I got over myself because, of course, that's not, that, that picture is a wide picture, it's a bad picture, it's a double chin kind of picture, it's black and white, it's just, it, it's, it's just a bad picture. And then I thought, okay, positive spin, positive spin time. From now on, when I have to show my ID to buy alcohol or whenever, they will see that picture and I will never look that bad in real life. And I might even get, wow, you've lost a lot of weight. Or, wow, you don't really look like this. So that's that's something that I can be happy about, right? Yeah, so that is it. That's all I got for you. Uh, not not too much of a, uh, an update. Uh, things are going well. I feel pretty good. And tonight I'm going ice skating. So I might have some footage of that to share with you next week. All right. Hope y'all are having a wonderful week yourselves and that you are sticking to the things that you said you wanted to stick to. And I will hopefully talk to you again next week on a Friday.